Well, hi everybody. Uh, it's been a great 2013. I'm trying to get ready for the new year. And we got a uh, nice little uh, weather front came in with some sleet and snow, it looks like. So everybody was panicking. The stores were packed and selling out, lines for everything. So I decided to make a stew, a deer stew. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm hunkered down for the blizzard. And let's take a look at my first cooking show. I've been wanting to do this for years. So we're going to see uh, how I make a stew, a salad, and the seasonings we use. It's easy. Try to call it Nouvelle style cuisine. It's made up by me. <laughs> Nobody else knows about it yet. So this is the first. So check this out. This is. Uh, my kitchen where it all happens right now. So I wanted to learn how to make soups and stews a while ago so I started and I made a couple batches they were good and my theories on all kind of cooking is easy simple whatever you got around and fresh veggies mostly whatever's fresh is better. So we've got some homegrown uh, venison here and I think it's a shoulder I'm not sure it's just kind of tough. So you gotta cut it in small pieces and then marinate it. You use a grapefruit juice, lemon juice, lots of lemon juice and everything. Um, and then what's, what I use is like a little knife like this for cutting little tiny pieces off. That way when uh, you marinate them, it, it gets more in the meat and it cooks faster. And this is pretty tough. This. Uh, chunk of meat here, it's mostly muscle. It's probably an older animal too that's a little more tough. So I like this little tiny knife for this. Then you know a bigger knife like this would be good for something bigger like chopping some onions. You know I like to dice stuff small so I usually cut it up and then I use scissors. Chop it up small I like the salad. Just chop it up because it gets all the flavor of the dressing around uh, more surface area and uh, gets the flavor of the dressing and the flavor of the veggies all mixed up. A lot of cilantro in here. Snip a little of that. Just shave it off. Little pieces. So one of the keys of the salad, the chopped salad for me, I don't use a lot of lettuce sometimes a little bit in spinach, but it's mostly cucumber, carrots, peppers, tomatoes, bits of mushrooms sometimes, mix it up. But the dressing, you know, can vary, but a little bit of lemon juice, black pepper again, I put black pepper in everything. So that was a red pepper. Lucky I stopped. Black pepper. And then leaving it marinate overnight is good. I usually make enough for two meals or more and let the second one marinate overnight and sometimes I add a little fresh stuff to that the next day. Uh, it just changes the flavor a lot on your salad. I like a lot of salad. All that chopping is a lot of exercise on your forearms. I like to mix it up. I feel like disconnected when I'm doing it with my left hand, but I try to practice with my left hand. And then, you know, for me, swords or knives are big. You know, a little hunting knife never did much for me. I like to uh, use swords like this to practice swinging. There's not a lot of room in here. And then, uh, some, sometimes for weight, I use this one. This is a copy of that sword, the 300. It's heavy for chopping through a uh, shield. So, it's more one-handed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so we've got other knives, like this is kind of a Japanese style knife for cutting uh, medium-sized stuff. I like to use these little hunting and skinning knives just for uh, knives at the table. You know, it's a lot less uh, 
boring than your regular cutlery or carve up your steak or something like that. Makes it kind of fun. And then I like using the uh, handmade cups. They're fun. And of course, I don't want to forget the outfit. This is my Johnny O shirt. He's one of our sponsors. You can see a little surf guy. A friend I grew up with is making them out in California. JohnnyO.com online. He's got a huge catalog. It's fun. So we like to promote our sponsors here. It's our first plug here. We love it. Um, so then we got to marinate this, all right? We cut it and almost like mush it up in little pieces. Just, you know, slice away on here. Get some little chunks. Makes it more tender and flavorful. So then, you got to work on the uh, flavor. So the lemon juice, which we've already washed and soaked it a few times, kind of cooks the meat. In chili, you could soak it overnight, and they call it uh, some of that, uh, I don't even know what it is, but you know, the marinated meat overnight. So you put a little of the lemon, and in everything, it's lots of black pepper, lots of black pepper, and red pepper. This is uh, some red pepper that's out of my garden, actually. Well, bit of that. I used an old red pepper jar, but check it out. This is all from uh, the summer. We dried them. Some of them we dried in a toaster, just on a sheet. Get the dried peppers, and then I grind them up in a antique mortar and pestle. That's pretty cool. Just put the peppers in here, grind them up, and I'm telling you that you got to watch the dust gets uh, in your face fast. So you marinate the meat a little like this before uh, I cook it. When I cook it over here uh, with some kind of oils like I either use uh, olive oil, this one's actually a pepper olive oil which is pretty cool, or uh, Spicy sesame oil. Sesame oil is good. Maybe some teriyaki. Maybe Worcestershire sauce. Some funky olive oil. Just something to uh, kind of fry it and then the moisture will come out of the meat and it's semi-boiling it. So I like to cook it first, a lot of times with some onion first. I did that already so I'm adding some more meat to a soup here. We've got a couple things going on. One is the soup that I took, like a, just a base that I bought, a chicken soup base. Dumped it in there and I put in cilantro, mushrooms, lots of peppers and uh, cook it a little bit and then dump in the veggies. All the veggies that are chopped up. Zucchini, like this. Lots of carrot, peppers, whatever you can get, mushrooms, tomatoes at the end, very last bit you put in tomatoes because they cook pretty fast, you don't want to lose them. So that's the order, you make your stock, some veggies and the meat in there, you let that boil a little bit and slowly add the veggies. And then, because I cook so much, you let it cool down, I got a pot over here, cooling down. That one's done. It's got uh, some potato in that one, chopped up onion, all kind of goodies. So then I let it cool down and I use these old peanut and pickle jugs. Once it's cooled down I fill those up and I stick them in the freezer. So that's two or three servings or however much you can eat. So uh, basically easy, using good stuff and the order in which you cook it and uh, you know I love throwing any kind of peppers in there from the little red ones to the big ones to the, the whole family of peppers, I like them. Alrighty, so check this out, the taste test, you know even along the way when you're making something you got to uh, 
taste it a little bit. Wow, it's just how I like it. I think it's hot. What do we got going on in here? So I've been cooking all day, chopping veggies, doing the prep. Now I got a little taste that's going on. Let's try it out. Wow, look at that. Okay. My spoon I just to put out of there. Well, there it is. My first kind of soup. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. good. Is that yeah. warming you up on a hot day? Is that too hot? Definitely high? warming you up on a winter day. <laughs> what would you rate that in terms of heat? That's about an eight. It's oh, an eight. eight. I eat good. salads that are nines and tens, but uh, you know, the uh, red pepper, you don't need a lot of it. Especially these little ones that we grow. These kind of little thin chili peppers. Pepper. Oh my so gosh, good. they're hot. They're hot. Um, and the uh, sesame oil with the lots of hot on there. Actually, that's not the hottest one. This one probably doesn't take a lot of that. But it gives it some flavor, right? Nope. You know, if I don't use the oil, we go with the, uh, what is that one? The Bats Brew. It works pretty good. What's your favorite hot sauce? I like, uh, I think the Bats Brew is probably the one to go with. Pepper sauce. That one's pretty good too, but I like it. Some of the green ones. So I've been chopping away all day, and I've got two batches done. And I was just thinking one of my Nouvelle techniques is using less dishes. Like I'll cut veggies directly into the pot or one bowl and mix them here. I got so much. But I've got the bone kind of cut down. So I've got uh, a bunch of meat here I'm marinating in lemon, sesame oil, and black pepper, and a little soy sauce for some stir fry tomorrow. That lemon will cook it overnight. So now I wanted to cook the bone in uh, water for hours to get the last of the meat off. Uh, I'm going to have three batches. One, I kind of sauteed the meat and made a soup and a stew. The stew is more potatoes and zucchini than the soup is more mushrooms and tomato. So I've got this bone here and uh, it wouldn't fit into my pots. I've got most of the meat cut off and when I boil it it'll make the soup stock. The first one I used a can of a chicken stock. The other one I just made it up from scratch. This one will have the bone. So I'm going to try to use a sawzall here. Pretty tough job um, without a saw. I might even try and do it again here, see what happens. Figures I was cutting right into a knuckle or something. Look at that. But that'll move. That'll go in the pot now. So mission accomplished. And uh, start some boiling. Well, hope you guys are having as much fun and don't go crashing around in the blizzard when it's uh, icy. It's time to hunker down, be safe, and not be stupid out there sliding around in a ditch. I don't want that. Happy New Year coming up to everybody too.